Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is time for a studio vlog. I'm preparing for a very busy day of packing orders. I've had lots of orders in the last week. Thank you all so much. It really means the world to me that you want to support me um, in my shop. And as you can see, I'm first prepping the little thank you cards. I'm cutting stickers at the same time. I'm always doing everything at the same time because cutting stickers takes time. So I just do it whilst, you know, doing other things. So I'm just preparing and cutting lots of stickers. I'm also cutting some of the backing that I use for my prints. I don't use a cutting mat, I'm sorry dad, but as you can see, I cut on another piece, so I won't cut through my table. <laughs> I'm now prepping some of the envelopes that I use to ship my prints in, and as you can see, I'm using this awesome new sunflower stamp that I got from No Issue, and I actually designed this stamp myself using one of my original sunflower drawings, so it's super cool that I got to use one of my own designs for the stamp. If you don't know, No Issue is a brilliant company that provides sustainable packaging materials for your own online shop or website and the coolest thing is, is that you can design everything yourself so all of the products will have your own designs on them from tissue paper to stamps to mailers to tape, they've got everything you need to pack your orders exactly the way that you like it. Another thing that's really great is that they're focusing a lot on being as green as possible. So for example, they have the Eco Packaging Alliance where they can send badges to customers who sign up for this to place on, for example, their website or their shops so they can let the customers know that their brand uses eco-friendly packaging. No Issue also plants one tree per order for areas in need to help the world's reforestation. And the best thing is that all of their products are environmentally friendly as they are compostable, recycled or reusable. If you'd like to order something from No Issue, it's super easy to design the product yourself because they have this really easy to use online design tool and you can immediately see what it will look like. And if you have a little bit of patience, you can also get free worldwide shipping, but then you just have to wait a little bit longer for the order to arrive. But trust me, it will be worth it. I'll now continue stamping some of the envelopes, but thank you again so much to No Issue for collaborating with me on this video and for helping me make these videos for you all every week. Now let's continue packing. I'm now collecting everything for the order. I always do these sticker orders first because those are rather easy to just pack because I can just sit at my desk and if I have to, you know, get something like a tote bag or um, anything bigger, I have to get it from my room. So I have to get up and, you know, pick it up. So the, the sticker orders, I always do those first because they're really easy to pack. And I use this lovely glitter tissue paper, although it looks nice. Sometimes the glitter comes off and I don't like glitter. So it's like everywhere, but it looks cute. And I do a little sunflower sticker and then I put it in the envelope. And again, cutting stickers at the same time. I'm always just packing orders, doing stickers, packing orders, doing stickers. I also really want to decrease the amount of plastic that I use in my packaging. So if I run out of my plastic bags, I'm going to pack my stickers like this. This is a little bag made of paper actually, but because it's really 
like I don't know what they did to it but it's just paper but it's really protective for like delicate materials like stickers and um, with ink so I do it like this with some stickers and then this one bigger sticker says thank you for shopping small so I will still make it look cute but it's a lot less packaging and no plastic which is just great And now I'm starting with some of my prints. These prints are new. These actually have gold foil on them. They're my favorite prints now, I love them. They have like galaxy theme, then it's sort of mysterious, magical eye, and I love them very much. So I'm packing those prints. I do still use a little plastic bag for those because I've yet to find um, the bigger ones made of paper, but I still have lots of those plastic bags, unfortunately. So I will definitely have to use those first because of course I'm not going to throw them away. That will be a waste. But then I always use some washi tapes and again, the lovely glitter tissue paper. Mm, glitter is the best, isn't it? <laughs> Let me know if you also like glitter, but you don't like the glitter to be on your hands because it's just really annoying. <laughs> And here I'm using the envelopes with my cool new sunflower stamp on it and again the sticker that says thank you for shopping small and then of course cutting more stickers at the same time. I do also sometimes wrap presents. If people say that it's a present, I write a little note with it. And now I have to do the addresses. So that's always my least favorite part because it's a really boring job. I have to manually do all of the addresses. So I just sit and do it all in one go. And I'm really concentrated so I can get the addresses and the printing labels done as soon as possible. And this is the first batch of orders done. Again, thank you so much, but now it's really time for some lunch. I decided to make a very simple quinoa salad. I still had some quinoa left and just all the vegetables that I could find. So I'm just some tomatoes, some cucumber, and I just put it all in there. I also found a little bit of um, lettuce in my fridge as well. So I also put those in um, in the end and just make it into a very fresh and filling salad because I love quinoa. And I don't know if this is weird, but I also like to put a little bit of hummus in there. It makes it really lovely and creamy. And then I just mix it up, but mixing is very difficult, as you can see. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. But yeah, this is just a very simple lunch, but it's really tasty. I just put some um, salt and pepper in there as well. And it's just very simple. And of course there's hand sanitizer because pandemic is going on.
it's always such a mess what I'm packing, but after it, I'm always going to clean it up. But this is what it looks like when I'm packing. There's actually stuff everywhere. And then it is time to put the international orders into one of these postal bags because those always have to go like this, <laughs> that's the rules. So I put those in the postal bag and then I'm going to be taking them to the post office in a bit. This is my favorite coat. Oh my goodness, it's so warm, especially now in winter. I thrifted it online and it's honestly my best thrift find ever. I love it so much. The weather outside was so amazing. It was Oh, so beautiful. I also picked up a little package from the post office because those are my Dutch stamps So I can actually stamp the Dutch orders as well And then I will be going back to the post office after this But now I'm stamping all of the Dutch orders with just regular Dutch stamps And then I'm taking those to the post office. So I did two little trips but of course it's nice to go outside and have a walk in nature. And then it is time to clean up. I think it was around 4 p.m. right now. So I walked in it just the entire day, but I always have like two of these days a week where I'm just packing orders and shipping them. But it's honestly such a lovely time because I'm also watching maybe some Netflix or listening to an audiobook at the same time. So it's also very relaxing just packing orders. But yeah, now I'm just cleaning up everything and that will be the end of this studio vlog. I really, really hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And of course, you can also follow me on my social media and on my Patreon page. I always post extra content on my Patreon page, so it would mean the world to me if you could check it out. And of course, check out my shop if you want to and if you're intrigued after this studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!